take our lead. Let's help you make your mark. Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Like other amphibians, frogs and toads are cold-blooded. This means their body temperatures change to match the temperatures of their environment. When winter comes around, frogs and toads go into a state of hibernation. Take our lead! Let's help you make your mark. Amphibians are frogs, toads, newts and salamanders. Most amphibians have complex life cycles with time on land and in the water. Their skin must stay moist to absorb oxygen and therefore lacks scales. Reptiles are turtles, snakes, lizards, alligators and crocodiles. Make your mark, take our lead! They die because they are cold-blooded. Anything will die in extreme temperatures, extreme heat or extreme cold. A cold-blooded animal does not have a regulatory system to keep the internal body temperature within a certain limit. Take our lead! Snakes, like all reptiles, are cold-blooded also known as ectothermic. This means they regulate their body temperature by lying in the sun to warm up, or moving into the shade to cool down. Snakes that live in cold climates like ours must seek refuge in a hibernaculum throughout the winter. Make your mark, take our lead! Like all amphibians, frogs need moisture to survive. Instead of drinking water, frogs absorb water through their skin. To stay moist, frogs seek damp hiding places, such as under leaves, rocks, logs or debris piles. Take our lead! As the wood frog is freezing, its heart continues pumping the protective glucose around its body, but the frog's heart slows and eventually stops. All other organs stop functioning. Frogs can survive all winter like this, undergoing cycles of freezing and thawing. If it gets too cold, though, they'll die. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and hit the bell notification.